this is my uh, fresh react setup let us start with some more enabling modules uh, rest i have enabled two modules for rest api rest web services and this is my custom model okay uh, no not generate some content i say delete all ones 50 is more than enough one year and addresses generate them okay now generate some menu i say generate some menu 25 if six no font okay it's totally fine maximum depth three wait four eight okay now come to the configuration page now look content page let's say change the front page okay this is my react application okay so here basically call the menu and the user one and and the content so let's check this how it looks in back one this is my home page similar is the home page here okay nothing in console but many looks so massive so i changed some settings so i just enable them enable the debug mode let's check uh, now we will get lots of hints let us start with the menu first so menu basically is rendered from this so these are the solution and this is the template which uh, it picks up so i uh, just create one menu with this name uh, this is my file structure of my component um, this is my framework so i just create a menu uh, by default menu renders from the core menu system here you find them inside a file menu so uh, keep that file as it is don't touch the core folders do whatever you want to do in in your custom folder so I just create a new file uh, yes X okay now I just copy the content inside this into this Let's check how it works no. No. Menu, menu. Okay, the menu is now rendering from this suggestion file, um, but the structure is still not good. So we need to decide to make some UI changes. This is the one file in which I have made some changes. I just copy this file and change the whole. Let's see how the menu looks like now. The menu looks like the top down and proper. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's say uh, change this heading. Say heading. So uh, you will find just clear the cache, render this page on the top page, node, and the title. 
this is the title basically rendering from this so this is the file responsible change the title and if you want to change the title for a specific node this is the node 102 so i make this file hmm. i just create this file in this folder Uh, now, uh, now I copy the text inside this and now I, I decided to change. Okay, now the file, the title is rendering from this. Now I decided to change with the H2 and I say this is a change on H2 H2 well. Okay. Now I refresh this page. Oh see. This is changed to H2 and the title is this one. Okay, so uh, if we enable the debug mode, you will find all the suggestions regarding the templates. So you can manipulate the templates. And one more thing, just look at look at this. First, you hit one more. Uh, you call for this page, then you call this one, this one. If you call back to this click on this again so no call no ajax call this actually uh, works on red x so once the data object is rendered i captured in uh, red x so next time if you click on the same link uh, having the same data so i do not call ajax it so this is the way actually my frameworks work you just make the changes in back or back side and you will get reflect on front end thanks guy